Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. If I haven't already did an intro right now, I don't think so. Gotta tell you something. I've been doing some stupid stuff. Like I didn't know I had to go to the store today. So I'm like, I'm gonna get enough food for this week. Then I'm in Target, pushing around the cart. See the problem is I got a cart. I shouldn't have got a cart. So I'm just pushing around the cart, having a good old time, throwing stuff in my cart. I couldn't figure out what I wanted for dinner this week. So I was just going with the vibes, even though I'm not really sure if I got the right things. And then I ended up buying more food than a week's worth of food. So by the time, and then on top of that, I had already went to Aldi's and had like my bag with me full of stuff. So I was like, by the time I got done, I'm like, this ain't too bad, I can carry it home. And that is why my back be hurting. That is why my back be hurting, because I have a bag full of all these stuff. I have this big old, <laughs> Take this off. I have this big old giant gym bag full of crap, which I'm not carrying nothing to the gym tomorrow. I want to be just carrying my little purse, like a little like fanny pack. But I got so much stuff. So I have my gym bag. I had this, this, and then this massive. This one is heavy. My gym bag was already heavy. But this one is heavy. Just full of stuff. And I got a rug. Cause I, I want to have a new rug in the bathroom, like a runner. Cause I hate the towel on the bathroom floor, so I want to cover it as much as possible. That's budget friendly. And then I got the, I got the, the first thing I did was grab the rug, cause I, I wanted that rug. And then um, Target's having a sale, so I'm like, it was like twenty percent off. So I'm like, I'm gonna go check out. And then I just saw in the fine print it said when ordered online. I'm like, no. So I go up to the guy, like, can you please adjust the price? Because, like, the idea of having to order it online, I already have it in my cart. And then if I do pick up, it's two hours. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But he was like, y'all yeah, can adjust it. It's no problem. I'm like, thank you so much, boo. But it's just a cute little runner for the bathroom. It looks like it's pretty long. Hopefully, it's not too long. We're going to see. If it don't work, I just put it in my bedroom or something. I don't know. Okay, let me show you guys what I got from the store. Um, this is random. I got some more of these because they were so good. I'm just like a hot cheddar and sour cream from Aldi. Oh, I was so excited. I saw a video about these a long time ago, but they were never in my local Aldi store. They finally got them. It's 20 grams of protein for these cup of noodles. It's plant-based protein. And this is like the chicken, chicken broth kind? The roasted chicken flavor. So I got some of these. Um... Got some protein chewy bars. I need something for my sweet tooth. You guys know about my sugar fast. Today is day two. Oh my God. I still got 28 days, Jesus. I ain't gonna make it. Okay, yeah. Got some protein chewy bars. It's 10 grams of protein per serving. I got some coffee creamer because I, I have to have regular creamer. Like that's the one thing I will not bend on. So I got some French vanilla international delight. I got some more protein bars. I'm gonna be doing like an egg bake breakfast sandwich kind of thing. So I got some cottage cheese for that. This is low fat cottage cheese. It's just to add more protein. So I got some English muffins for my breakfast sandwiches. Some more noodles. I got some um, peaches and 100% fruit juice. God, oh my God. So I had one of these and I was like carrying stuff in my hand and all these because I wasn't planning on getting like two or three things. Next thing I know, I had a whole arm full of stuff. But I had one of these in my hand, and it dropped on the floor and burst open. So, like, all the little cups were all over the floor. And I had my hands full of stuff. So, I'm trying to bend down and get it. Nobody's helping me. So, I'm trying to get it. And I'm like, the stuff in my hands trying to fall over. So, then I picked the stuff down so I could grab them. Grab them off, pick them up, and then drop them again. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. So, I'm, like, I'm ready to go so I get my stuff so I can leave. And then I kept dropping the stuff in my hands. I was just getting so irritated. I said it's time for me to go. Oh, I got some cheese. I'm so mad because all these normally carry like the low fat, reduced fat cheese in this brand. My local store has got rid of it. Every time I go, they don't have it in stock at all, which makes me so sad I love that cheese. It tastes like a real thing. But I got some cheese. Those are my breakfast sandwiches. Um... I got two of these. I never had this brand before. Hopefully they're good, but they're high in protein. Of course, there's sodium. I don't have high blood pressure, so I don't worry about that. And I drink a lot of water. But um, I have the Smokehouse Meat and Potatoes. This one has like 22 grams of protein. And then this one is the Cajun Style Alfredo with sauces and chicken. And it's 28 grams of protein. Um... I got some Alfredo, I have roasted garlic, Alfredo sauce. 
I'm just pulling stuff out randomly. I have some 73%, 27% of ground beef. I got some bologna because for some reason I'm craving a fried bologna. My mom is too. I was telling her about that. And she was like, Melissa, I know you're my daughter. Because I just told your dad this morning that I wanted a fried bologna sandwich. So we were both in the vein. But I got some fried bologna because I'm like a breakfast sandwich. Oh, I'm going to tear that up. Don't judge me. Like, I grew up on that and I love it. Um, I got some turkey sausage for my breakfast sandwiches. And that's it for this bag. <sighs> I'm trying to hurry up. It's going to be too long. Protein chocolate chip pancakes. So I had something from my sweet tooth. I'll put some fruit on there. Some sugar-free syrup. I got some red lentil rotini pasta. It's high protein. This is 26 grams um, per 100 grams. Jalapenos. Protein ice cream. I need to put this in the freezer. But I have my protein ice cream. I love this stuff. I eat all of this stuff. Whoa. Do you understand me? Avocados. Um, some makeup wipes. Also for my sweet tooth, I got some cinnamon graham crackers. It's like 130 calories for two sticks. Uh, I got some Indian style sweet potato curry vegetable blend. That needs to go back in the freezer. Um, I got some shrimp. I saw this girl talk about this on TikTok and they finally had some in stock. This is the Caribbean style seasoned rice and vegetable blend. She said it's so good, so I got two bags. Hopefully I'll like it. Um, I got some chicken strips. Target is like having like a 20% off sale right now. Like it's not a lot off, but it's something. It like sort of like makes the prices go back to normal in a way. Yeah, yeah. Um, pepper jack cheese. And then I got some eggs. Oh, bro, the eggs is in my gym bag. The eggs is in my gym bag. I, I forgot they were even in here. I got two cartons of eggs. Now guys, all of this stuff. It's, it's, it's a nice amount, but it's not a lot. I spent like a hundred, what, like a hundred and five? hundred and twenty? Uh, I got a ten dollar credit to, to go towards like a next purchase because Target gave me like a coupon thing. So like, I get something back in a way, but like groceries are expensive. Especially if you're trying to be protein based, girl. And I don't even have my protein powder. I, I said I get that too. Yeah. So I'm hoping this is enough food for like, Maybe a week or two, we're gonna see, but yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bye. I got it done, you guys. Keto bread, a slice of cheese. I made two pieces. Oh, girl! I made two slices of bologna, fried them hard, and then one egg. morning I said I'm going to film and then proceeded not to film and I'm so sorry today has just not been a good day like I just been in my feelings like emotional like depressed <sighs> just in a really heavy dark place and I don't know why because it's beautiful outside the sun is shining it's warm finally speaking of which I gotta change my wig because this wig is just it's too hot. I can't. Not not with the gym. I can't. In the sun, it's too, it's too much. But yeah, i just been um, in a funk today. I went to the gym, of course. And then I came home because I had to get my packages that were sitting on the porch. Even though I left a giant note that said to put them in this specific spot. That's like literally like two feet away. But luckily I was done with my workout, so I just came home and got the packages. Then I left again to go to Target and the Dollar Tree. And then, God, I am just so stressed out. I just have to sit here and process my feelings and pray about them and just... I hate feeling like this. And I don't know what's triggering it. I know part of me is stressed because I have this trip coming up. And I feel like overwhelmed. Because I just realized 
I don't even have a suitcase because I never go out of town. And when I do go, it's more like on car trips. So I just carry a little bag. I don't even have a suitcase. So I gotta see if my mom has one because I don't want to spend like no two hundred dollars in a suitcase for this trip. Even though, like, hopefully it's gonna be the opportunity for more trips in the future. But yeah. Then I sent a message to my doctor because I need I need something for the plane to help calm me down. But um, the things that I've tried in the past didn't really help, so I told her I need something stronger. So then she wants me to come in for an appointment, and like I don't have time for an appointment. And then I already have like all these physical therapy appointments I gotta go to before going out of town, and of course when I come back. So I'm like I'm not trying to have another appointment. <sighs> and then narrowing down how I'm gonna do this speech is stressing me out because I have all these ideas, but then I realized. What I'm doing, because I'm supposed to be teaching how to dress. In order for me to do that, I need visual aids. You know what I mean? Like, so, and then, like, this is out of town. So, it's not like I can just throw stuff in the car and bring it with me. So, I don't know how that's going to work. I have a, a phone call with the um, the woman that's hosting the event. I have a phone call with her tomorrow. I'm trying to narrow this down because I don't want to go up there unprepared. So, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do, like, demonstrations and whatnot. And be able to bring all that stuff with me on the plane, you know. Oh, God. And not only that, you know, I gotta. This is a conference. I have to get in front of people and talk. I have to get on a plane, that, and I hate getting on planes. I think the weight of it is starting to hit me, you know. Like, what did I sign up for? Why did I pit myself purposely in this position? I just keep thinking, Melissa, be bold, be brave, be courageous. God is with you. He wants you to do this. We're stepping out. And it's just everything in my being is fighting me. And I think it's like that self-sabotage thing where it's like, oh, you're not good enough to do this. You're not capable of doing this. And I don't want to give into that. I want to be strong. I, I want to make myself proud. And I also want to make her proud because she put so much faith in me to do this. You know what I'm saying? And it's like she's flying me out. She's set up my hotel and everything. Like, I want to make her proud, you know? So, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Anyways, oh, oh, that's another thing. My freaking period started today. Maybe that's why I'm so emotional. Maybe that's why it is. I'm like, did I just get off my period? It's like, why is it always just, you look up and the, the dang old thing is back. And it's driving me crazy. Now I went to the store to go to some Advil. They ain't had the kind that I want. I, I love Advil on my period. I don't know how, but it stops my cramps. And then the one that I normally use, they didn't have it in stock. So, yeah. I got some protein powder. This is the chocolate peanut butter. Something sweet for my sweet tooth. I got some unsweetened almond milk to use my protein powder. And then my brother, he had this yesterday. He, like, poured it in a cup and let me see what it was. I'm like, try this. And uh, thankfully, it's diet, but it's um, the Coca-Cola Spiced Zero Sugar. Normally, I'm a Pepsi girl, but this, oh my God, it's so good. It's spiced. It has like hints of ra yeah, raspberries. It's, it's really strong. I had like this much, and I was like, ooh, it's cutting. It's cutting, but it's so freaking good. I don't go high diet pop because like the whole artificial sweetener thing. But every once in a while, I will crack one open. Yes. And my little Starburst thing. I'll show you that in a second. That's all I got from Target. Because yesterday, um, I already went there and got my groceries. I saw these at the dollar store. I never had these before. But I was like, I'm going to try and see. But they got some pads there. Which is weird to me. But they're organic cotton. I mean, how are they organic cotton for $1.25? We're going to see. But they have um, different kind of pads there. So I got some of these. These are like the honey pot dupes i guess they have aloe and lavender in them no dyes no clever no added fragrances we're gonna see i got the overnight one so we're gonna see let me, let me open them and see what they look like i don't have much hope but i was like i just want to see like just for the experience to see uh how, how big or how small they are how do you open these up but, like the packaging it looks just like honey pot i said how did it oh oh you can smell them. They, they got a fragrance on them. I got the overnight ones because I want to feel protected. Whoa, this is big. Look at that. It's nice and thin. I don't know how absorbent they are. I never wore these before. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, Dollar Tree. And, and they got wings. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. I have physical therapy tomorrow, you guys. And my period just started. Got some of these. I love these. They're chocolate animal crackers. I don't consider this to be sweets for me. Because when I think of sweets, I'm thinking of ooey gooey chocolate chip cookies. Real ice cream. Cake with extra frosting. That's how I eat. Pie with ice cream. Like stuff like this. I don't really care about stuff like this. And then I always eat like the serving size. So whatever. But I didn't really get much in Dallas. I just got some more socks for the gym. Because you get two pairs for a dollar twenty-five, I get them filthy anyways. And then I got like, my Advil, some Band-Aids. Oh, this is what I, I was telling you guys about. I love these. I love these. These ones and the pink ones. Oh my God, my absolute favorite. I gotta edit the thumbnail for my vlog and then make it public to you guys, cause I'm behind. And then I gotta edit the video for these new um, thermals. It was so funny cause like last, was it last week? I went to Aldi's and I got that Stanley Cup. You guys remember that pink one? I was so excited about it. And then that same evening, this company emailed me, wanted me to review their cups. Now, keep in mind, like that video with that blog when I got that cup, that, that wasn't even up yet. The same day I got the cup, they emailed me. I said, that's so freaking crazy and strange. It's pretty much the same cup, except this one doesn't have like the mouth spout, but um, these are cute and they come in different colors, so. And they keep your drink cold. Mm. That water is so good. I'm so tired. Anyways, um, that's it. I think I'm going to go sit outside and like just stay in the sun. I've already got a whole lot of sun because I walked to and from the gym and then to and from Target. So I got a lot of sun already. But I just want to enjoy the good weather because the weather has just been changing so much lately. I don't know what to expect next. This is what I wore today. I have to take this dang on wig off. I was at the gym today. I was hot. And old dude came up to me. He said, like, how are you feeling? I was like, I'm hot. He said, it's not hot in here. I said, yes, this is hot and normal. He said, do you want me to tell you why are you hot? And I was like, he said, I can be real honest with you. I'm like, don't you even say it. Because I knew he was going to say my, well, he might, maybe not, maybe. But I'm like, you're not going to say all this dang old wig I got on because it's so much hair. And of course, of course, I have all these clothes on. I'm like, ooh. When I go back on, um, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I got physical therapy tomorrow. But when I go back on Friday, I'm changing it up. I'm changing it. I cannot be hot like this. I've been hot like this for three or four days with this wig. And I'm going to go because it's so beautiful. But it's just too much. And it's like all over the back of my neck. And you, you have so much heat right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, let me get busy. My stomach is finally starting to go down. And then, what sucks about that too? It's finally starting to go down, but not my period. So it's not bloated. Let me go. This is too long. Bye guys. I'm meal prepping. So I'm making breakfast for the next couple days and then I'm making my dinner right now. Yeah, yeah. So my eggs are in the oven baking. Um, I don't know how long I'm supposed to be in there. I don't even remember what time I put them in there. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys because I'm doing too many things at one time. It's, but my pasta is done. Let me show you. So I have my turkey sausage browning. My eggs are done. I need to cut them. Hopefully they're done done. I don't know. They ain't jiggling no more. Cause they was jiggling forever. So <laughs> we're gonna see. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so guys, I cut it and it is done. I'm trying to show you without, oh, without messing it up. Well, you guys can see, it's cooked. It might, might be a little too cooked, but it's edible. And I just put some Italian season on the turkey. I'm gonna flip that over and sear it in, and then we're gonna go about building the sandwiches and putting them up. So I have my sandwiches done. I think <laughs> next time I'm gonna use less egg because these are so freaking thick. I look at that. Oh my gosh, they're thick. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wrap these up, and then like in the morning when I'm ready to eat them, I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer. I did, I did not toast them just yet because I don't want the bun to get hard. But I'm going to wrap them up and then every morning that I eat one, I just throw it in the air fryer to get it all warm and melty. I did two eggs each. So that's 12 eggs. I did way too many, I think. I think that's how I was going to do six. I have my coffee brewing and then I have my breakfast sandwich. Oh, I always try to drop this thing. So I got my coffee brewing and then I'm going to eat my breakfast sandwich. I put just a, like, 
teaspoon of this on there. Maybe a tablespoon of this on there. I don't have any sugar-free jelly. But yeah, I wanna eat my breakfast. And then I get ready for physical therapy. Guys, this is so good. It, it like tastes like McDonald's. Like, oh my God, I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like McDonald's, of course, but better. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's so good. My cup book. Hey guys, so I made it. I'm at physical therapy. I'm gonna go get this done with, and then I'm going home. And my coffee cup broke. I was trying to show you guys outside, but I only had one in. Isn't that ghetto? Come on now, Starbucks. These cups cost too much money for that. Okay guys, so I'm back home from physical therapy. Um, today was really nice. Like, he showed me, he's working on giving me different like stretches that I can do to help alleviate the pain. Um, today he gave me some workouts to help with strengthening my core by doing planks. Back when I, okay, so I was doing planks before. One of my subscribers, um, Mel, she told me to start doing planks. And I was doing them, getting really good at them, and I just stopped doing them. I think I stopped doing them because, like, they're they're very hard to do. And I think I was just like, I don't want to do this because this is difficult. And I find that when it comes to working out, if something is really difficult or... I dread doing it. I stopped doing it because I don't want to start not liking working out, you know? So, like, the Bulgarian split squats. I tried, tried, tried so hard with those things. And it got to a point where, like, I, I hate these. I hate them so much. And I want to do them because they're great for, like, glute growth, like, making your butt bigger. But I hate them so much. And it got to a point where when that day was coming up, I was just like, oh, my God, I don't want to go to the gym this day. So I stopped doing them. So I'm thinking that's what happened with the planks. I think I just slowly like phased them out of my mind. But yeah, he has me doing planks. So, yay. But I do want to strengthen my core because that's really important for like your posture and helping with your, with your back and everything. Because I tend to do like this a lot. Or I'll do like this. Or I'll be like on my phone like this, you know. So I, I think that's where that knot came from in my back. I don't know. I, I got to go see my doctor about that knot in my back too because that thing's starting to hurt. I don't know if you guys remember a few a few vlogs back, I had found a knot or a lump in my back, and went to the doctors. They couldn't really tell me what it was, but they said it doesn't look like it's cancerous. I'm like, shouldn't y'all like tap into that? It's like right next to my spine, you know, but it's starting to hurt. So I'm like, I gotta go check and see what that's going on. But um, yeah, that's what's going on with that. Yesterday, by the end of the day, my back it was at I want to say a ten. The pain was so intense. Like, at the end of last week's vlog, I got my shot done. I was telling you guys, oh, my back is already feeling so much better. Even though they said it could take two weeks for me to notice a difference. Girl, that wore off. I think it was, like, whatever they gave me to numb my back to give me the shot. I think that was still in my system. So, I thought everything was hunky-dory. Girl, no, my back. <sighs> Yesterday, she was like, oh, you want to show out? I'm going to show out, too. My back was just boom, 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 boom. I'm like, I can't get up. I can't get up. So yesterday I went to the gym. I did a leg day, an intense leg day. I did um, Romanian deadlifts. I did sumo squats with a weight. I did leg extensions, leg curls, um, back extensions, that little thigh machine. I did the one for your calves where you put your toes on that machine. I did a lot of different workouts. Then I did... Um, like 30 minutes on the treadmill. And then I walked to and from the gym. Then I came home and then walked to Target and Dollar Street and walked back. And then I was working around the house. I had work I had to do. And then I had to cook for um, my breakfast sandwiches for the week and my dinner. And I was folding up my laundry, put my laundry away. I had a lot of laundry. Like, ever since I started going to the gym, my laundry piles up so quick. It was always so much stuff. But by the time the night was over, I was in so much agony. I mean, agony. I'm like, oh my gosh. So today, I was planning on walking home from physical therapy like, like I did last week. But the walk is extremely long. It's not like no little five-minute walk. I mean, you're going to be walking for like over an hour. I said, nope, not today. And, I, and I'm not going to the gym today. I said, well, so you got to start listening to your body. Your back is telling you you're doing team too much. Oh, I'm not going to do anything physical today. I might walk in my treadmill a little bit later on today, but I'm not going to do anything like going to the gym or anything today because I just, 
after last night, I could not get up, you guys. Because I was so terrified of the pain. I could not get up. So I was like, Melissa, you need to chill. I am so tired. I got up at like 6 something this morning for my appointment. I'm like, do I want to take a nap? Because I hate getting up early. It throws off my whole day. I don't know. Oh, I got I to gotta show you guys this wig I got. Oh my God. This one's coming off. And she needs to be seen. But I'll, I'll show you guys that later on. It is... And whatever you're already thinking, it's not that. But you'll see. Okay, so guys, it's still Thursday. I walked down to Target to get some stuff because I forgot that I had brought this bag of avocados so I could have them for my breakfast sandwiches. So I made too many eggs. So now that there's so much egg in my sandwich, I can't put the avocado on the sandwich. And I don't want to lose it. So I went down to Target and got some stuff for um, guacamole. Let me try. So I just got some generic basic chips you can get a healthier option if you want to um so i got some tomatoes i got some cilantro i got some limes i already have onions here i got some of this because i do not feel like peeling and chopping garlic you know i wanted something sweet without the guilt so i got some of these hopefully it's good we're gonna see but um i'm gonna try them like it sounds good and I, I love mango so 70 calories, that's not bad. Hey guys, it is um, Friday. I'm having one of those moments where I just feel fat and ugly and I'm trying to get the strength up to leave the house and I can't and I don't know what's going on. I just feel really uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable. And I just want to crawl into a hole. I need to go to the gym, but I can't go tomorrow, so. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I think it's my period. I think it's just, it's just throwing me off, like mentally and emotionally. I just feel like hot garbage. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm panicking a little bit. I'm trying to like hype myself up to leave the house, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. I think I'm just gonna make myself go outside and go. And then if I get there, I just have a bad time, I'm just gonna leave. to the gym and it started off okay I should have listened to my first instinct it's like I don't know if it's my mind or my body it'll tell me to say um because it's not gonna be a good day and I went anyway it's trying to like press through because I wasn't gonna be able to go this weekend and it ended horribly because I started getting very emotional I was already emotional before I left I told you guys I didn't know what was going on and it just proceeded to get worse and worse as the day went on. I just, I just kept trying to like power through my workout, power through. And then the next day I know I'm on, I, I was like, I did like a few workouts and I was like, you know what, let's just do cardio and go. So I started doing cardio and then I'm just getting teary eyed and teary eyed. I'm like, Lord, I don't want to be crying at the gym. Not again. I feel like it just, just keeps happening to me. Like not like every time I go, but a little too much for my comfort but I just feel like so stressed out like I'm just really really stressed out like life is just a lot and there's so much going on and I'm so like trying to balance everything
And then right now I'm trying to balance my workload and then getting ready for this trip and this conference. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm stressed out. I still have to pack and I'm still trying to get my content done because I gotta make sure I make enough money to pay my bills this month. You know, it's just, I am stressed. And on top of that, you know, I gotta make sure I go to the gym, make sure I go to physical therapy, I'm just stressed out. I'm just stressed out. And I'm in the gym, like, crying, trying not to. So then I go try to get a massage. I'm like, maybe I'll calm down. I get a massage. You know what I mean? They're crying. So, like, I'm leaving there, heading to a locker room, got my head down, because I'm trying to, like, hide my face, because I don't want people to see I'm crying. And then, oh, God, I feel so bad, because old dude was there, gym guy, not gym crush. Well, he was, gym crush was there earlier, but um, gym guy was there. And he saw me, I, I'm guessing he saw me, because um, I had my head down, I was heading to the locker room, and I had my headphones on, but I heard him call my name through my headphones. And I was like, I do not want him to see me crying. And I ignored him and went into the locker room. And I don't know if he thought maybe I didn't hear him because I had my headphones on, or maybe he could see that I was upset. I, could, I couldn't tell because I had my head down. But I felt so bad. And I, I was gonna come out of the locker room and, and apologize, but by that point, I was too far gone emotionally, so I just left. I didn't see him when I was leaving, so I feel really bad. I don't remember, like, oh, she's ignoring me, you know, but I was just gone. I think I might text him and apologize, but I don't know. I'm stressed out. I'm really stressed out, and, like, time is winding down, and... And, like, on top of everything else, I have to get some models together and get them styled. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on right now. I really want some chocolate. <laughs> I have to go work on my speech some more. So, um, I talked to her yesterday. She gave me some really good ideas um, to add into my speech. So... I'm gonna do that. I wanted to have some business cards to hand out, but I could, there was no company that was able to ship and get them here in time. So, I don't have any business cards. Yeah. Let me go, because I don't like being like this on camera. So, I'll check in with you guys later. Oh, you're so pretty. That's what I thought, Devin. I go on. Look at that season on there. I am terrified. That's Devin's food. Mrs. Mrs. Chicken is cold. I am scared. That's the macaroni we're gonna be sharing. At. If I can get the lid off. Can you imagine if you order two? No. Too much. The prices are really decent too. Like it was like five dollars for this whole big old thing of macaroni, <laughs> and like thirteen dollars I think for the food. Okay. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna try this chicken. I'm terrified. Look at that. If you can touch it, it's steaming. How am I breaking piece off? So hot. She fried everything fresh. <laughs> everything fresh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you can see the steam fly. I don't know if you can see, guys can see it on camera. It is flying. Yeah, it is flying. I'm gonna taste it by itself first, and then we're gonna try it with the sauce. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm That's good. Got a little kick. The camera just sliding. Okay, it's good. This sauce reminds me of like a king sauce. 
Mm. The sauce makes it better. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you like spice, I recommend the hot. I can't recommend you following. Yeah, I got the, um, then we're gonna get the medium. Medium. I got medium, he got hot, crazy. Mm, mm. That sauce is so good. My mouth is on fire, but I love it. Then the macaroni and cheese, I already tasted it, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's good, like the fast food macaroni is pretty good. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if it's worth five dollars, but more like three or four. The portion side is though. So. Oh, that's fair. Because yes. that was Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. I should put this on my like, bread with some pickles. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Massive. Massive. Oh, it's crunchy. And there's two pieces in here. This one on the, on the bottom. Which is going to soak up all that delicious juice. I'm going to put it on in here with some pickles. I love pickles and chicken. And then put a little bit of shorts. I'm nervous. Mm. Okay, that's it. <laughs> It comes with coleslaw too, but not right now. I'm not in the mood. Okay. Back to review. Bye, guys. Everybody just camped out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The one thing I cannot do is sing. So, me trying to do some karaoke would be mad. Y'all got here having a party, y'all. Early in the day. I should go over there, but I'm scared. go there a long time ago this annie's parlor they had like the best burgers and fries and shakes like old school shakes <laughs> oh, that's right. i know that's right oh my gosh look at this place you guys oh my god <gasps> it's so pretty we're gonna be going there eventually okay man, man, i don't know about this place but to get a tattoo Oh, you got to look there too. Oh, it's so cute. This place is so adorable. They got all the donuts up there. So pretty. No, no, you can order them on the screen. You can order them on the screen. I want to look at these. What kind of donuts are these? I've never seen this before. It's so cute. 
we're so close to the water. Oh, yeah, come over here. I ain't been here in a long time. I forgot about this. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Oh, I forgot about this. Come here. Only for a little bit, because that sun is out here. It's outrageous. Why is someone else out here? Are we supposed to be out here? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're walking forever in the hot sun. I know I'm like 16 shades darker. It's been such a beautiful day. And we are enjoying ourselves out here today. So stunning. Like, we're like literally right over the water. But it's just absolutely gorgeous today. Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you. And all the things that you do. And it was all yellow too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're going over there, guys. We're so going over there. I'm back home. It's been a few hours. Oh my god, we did so much walking and sightseeing. Everybody and their mama was outside today because it's, it's hot. It's hot today. It's like 75 degrees. Everybody out. Everybody's out partying. It was crazy. My brother about to do a taste test of like the sweets we got today. And I know I'm supposed to be doing this 30-day fast because I'm so aware. Um, the only exception I made was when I was going out with my brother. Um and I think it's going to happen like maybe twice because next week I'm going to be out of town. Insomnia, I've been wanting to try them for over a year. And the mochi has been like at least the last six months I've been wanting to try them. So like this, this is my first time trying both. So like we got a, three box of donuts. We're going to split those. And then we both got a cookie. So we're going to try that. Um, but after that, right back on the fast. Right back. This is not going to be like, oh, I broke my fast. So now I'm staying off of it. No. Right back on it. I am beat down that sun was no joke and we were like in direct sunlight i need to go purchase me a um a uv umbrella because that sun wore me out but yeah i'm gonna just go taste these pastries for him i'm brewing a pot of coffee we're gonna drink some coffee and i'm gonna take me a nice shower because the sun and the sweat girl girl but today was just amazing amazing it was so fun and we got to ride another tesla again so that was fun but yeah girl, the tesla girl had everything gucci out she had gucci car seats a gucci air freshener a gucci um steering wheel what do you call those things the cover on the steering wheel she had gucci all the, and she was a somalian girl i was like i didn't even know the somalians get into the gucci label like that i was like okay gucci tesla we about to try our donuts Oh, I didn't show the cookies. I didn't even see the cookies yet. Oh, they're big. Those are huge. Jesus. Jesus. We got the, what is it, peanut butter? Uh, peanut butter deluxe. Peanut butter cup deluxe. We both, we both got the same one. So we got those, and then we're about to share these. Oh, my God. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm a coffee. <laughs> I ate one and a half donuts. And I ate my entire cookie i just got done eating the rest of it it's like 11 30 at night i want to say i feel ashamed but i don't <laughs> i really enjoyed myself today <laughs> it's not every day I, I get a chance to eat like this so i'm like tomorrow's back to normal tomorrow's back to normal i gotta say it was delicious delicious i've been craving some sugar all week 
more so a Reese cup. And to have a chocolate peanut butter cookie or like the Reese cup or whatever inside of it, oh. No shame, no shame. So anyways, um, yeah. I just got done editing a video for that braided wig I had on the other day. I was gonna keep it on, but just like going to the gym every day with that on, including too much, too much. I literally just got done editing that video and then I ate the other half of my cookie. And like now I'm just, I'm about to chill and watch TikTok until I fall asleep. So yeah, um, oh, and, and I had a protein drink. Protein shake, drink, protein shake. I had protein with some almond milk. So whatever you want to call that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to chill. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. So guys, I just realized I really haven't been showing you what I'm eating this week. I've been eating my breakfast sandwiches and then my pasta. This has become a little like late night treat for me. It's late. I just got done with prayer. My voice is so deep right now because I've been crying. But <laughs> we ain't gonna go there. But I have some um non-fat Greek yogurt. I got this one because there's a lot of protein in there and they didn't have a vanilla one at the time. So I got this one because I already had some sugar-free um, vanilla syrup here. And then I just pour this entire thing into this and stir it up and eat it. So like that's like my little late night snack. This has 18 grams of protein in there per serving, which is so awesome. So yeah, I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna make me some water. I have my ice in there. I've already drunk like two of these today two of these so <laughs> i need to slow down a little bit don't be peeing on that long anyways but that's what's going on right now guys i'll see you in the morning young and open-hearted desperate to feel wanted gave too much to people that left me disregarded Used to be easier to give than to take Used to think everyone would treat me the same But now, I'm calling back my energy From every single thing that wasn't meant for me Old friends, ex-lovers, and my enemies I wish in peace
so guys i'm home from the gym i haven't checked in yet i was sitting outside trying to enjoy the weather but um i have a e-visit like a virtual visit with my doctor coming up in like five minutes and um this is so i can get some uh, medication for the plane because like i can't remember what i had last time but whatever it was i've tried two different medications before um for a flight this is years ago and neither worked neither worked so i need something stronger but i can't remember what i tried because this was like years and years ago so um in order for me to get a stronger prescription i have to talk to her and i didn't want to go in because i didn't want to miss going to the gym today so we're going to do an e-visit so i have a couple more minutes before i have to go online but yeah i just got home i was sitting outside trying to enjoy the weather it's a little bit cloudy but it's still sunny outside so i'm trying to enjoy that um then i have a protein shake with coffee and almond milk I'm drinking that and then I need to eat. I haven't haven't eaten like an actual meal today. Like this morning I had a protein bar and a couple of scoops of like that like Greek yogurt. But you know, it's late there. I need to eat. I need to eat. Oh my god, you guys. Oh god, I don't have time to discuss this right now. There's so many things I want to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna have to wait till I get done with my e visit. One more thing, I was at the gym, my eyelash, I said, why is it fluttering? So I look in the mirror, the whole lash. Like, the only part that was sticking was right here. The rest of it was coming off. I said, I don't know, it's time for me to go home. I was already ready to go because, like, I was really tired. I only had one more workout to do in my cardio. And I was like, I'm ready to go. So when that happened, I said, oh, I'm leaving. So I'm going to do my cardio here on the treadmill because I was just going to do the treadmill anyways. But um, I got home, took them off. But I'm like, I don't like, to, well, today, every day, the same thing. But, like, right now, I'm like, I don't mind how I look without lashes. I feel like I look a little bit younger, if anything. But like those lashes I was wearing today, I wasn't a fan of them. They were just too much. They're new. They're part of some lashes I'm reviewing for this company. But um, I didn't like those anyway. So I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I have to go for real. I'll be back. <laughs> Change of plans. I want to go for a walk outside. I want to go over to the park and like feed the birds and stuff. Because I haven't did it in months. So I'm going to go outside and go for a walk. I just got done with my doctor. She was so freaking sweet. So amazing. She actually said that there's a medication. I didn't even ask her, but I didn't, I didn't know. She said there's a medication I can take before I go speak that it help like calm me down, like lower. She said it lowers your blood pressure or your pulse or something like that. She says common people take it before they do speeches. Never even knew this was a thing. Never knew there was something out there for that. So she prescribed me something for that and like some... So previously in the past, apparently, I took lorazepam on the plane and last time I took Valium. Neither one of them worked. I was wide awake, didn't feel any kind of calmness or anything. So she prescribed Valium again, but a higher dosage. So we're going to do that this time. Hopefully it works. Hopefully I don't go to sleep and I can't get back up again. We're going to see. But um, she prescribed, so she asked me taking something for the plane and something before I speak. She, she recommended it to me because she knows I have... That I'm struggling and trying to get over my anxiety, but um, yeah, so yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna go for a walk outside right now, just walking indoors on the treadmill. I've been walking on the treadmill all week in my um, my beauty room. Like every time I eat, I go get on the treadmill. I'm just sitting here watching TikTok, I'm on my treadmill, so why not go enjoy the weather? My nail is missing this morning before I left, I broke it, which is fine because I, I need this to come off because like I want to do a whole new set before I go out of town. There's so much I have to do before I go out of town. We're calm. We're at peace. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I cannot wait for this to be over, but everything's fine. Okay, let's go. I'm calling back my energy from every single thing that wasn't meant for me. Old friends, ex lovers, and my enemies. I wish in peace. Oh no, pride and love led us to.
Okay, guys, so I'm back from my walk. Let me tell you something, guys. Oh, my God. It was so peaceful and relaxing. I was just walking around. Like, the area I was in is like a big circle. It's like a mile or so long. And I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go feed the birds or whatever. Right when I say that, here comes two families of kids. And they start chasing the birds. <laughs> the birds are flying away. So eventually they calm down and their mother starts throwing out, she had a bag full of bagels, so she starts throwing out bread to the birds. The birds are so scared at that point, they're not even coming back to the shoreline. I said, oh God. So I walked a little bit further down and was just sitting there looking at, um, out at the animals and then I see two of the little boys. Two of them, they were like three and five, I wanna say, they were really small. They leave their family walk all the way down through the little cove down to the shoreline where there is a goose that's sitting there minding his business now when it comes to the geese i think they're cute and adorable but they terrify me because they can get real violent real quick um so the bird is just sitting there minding his business the kids walked all the way away from their family right up to the goose i mean literally right up to it i'm like I'm like, do the parents not know how violent these geese can get? They both have a chunk of bagel in their hand. And they start just chucking the the bread pieces at the goose. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Am I going to have to run down here and fight this goose <laughs> to protect these kids? And you guys know I love animals. And the idea of having to square up with a goose is just like, I don't want to have to hurt this bird. I'm like, please, Jesus, please. They're just chucking. And then like... I don't know what they're saying because they were speaking Spanish. So I don't know what they were saying, but they were yelling at the, the bird in Spanish. So I don't know if they were like excited or angry. I don't know. But they're just chucking this bread. I'm like, I'm just watching, watching, watching. And I'm thinking like maybe their family is going to come over and come and get them because they're so far away from their family and they're by the water edge attacking this goose. All of a sudden, the goose just gets up, steps into the water and just swims away. I said, oh God, thank you. Oh God, thank you. I was scared of them getting attacked, and I was scared of having to fight a dangle. I do not want to fight an animal. It's like, oh, God. I'm ready to go home now. So I went, after that, I just went home. So I want to talk to you guys real quick. So I'm going to say a few months back, I found some of my old journals slash diaries, and I haven't been able to, like, get myself to open them and read them. I remember a few years back, I had discovered a diary that I had back when I was in high school, and when I read it, it like sort of hurt me because like it was so, I could, all the grief, all the suffering, like, I, I don't want to be like, oh, I had such a hard life because other people have had it worse than me, but there's been so much pain, like a lot. And reading that diary was just god awful. It was god awful. I literally threw that diary away. And I wish I hadn't. I, I really wish I would have kept that because... It was my authentic experience at that time in my life. And, you know, as you get older and things change, sometimes it's good to go back and reflect and see how things have changed, whether they are for, perfectly for the for the better. But um, it was so traumatizing to me, I threw it away. And um, I found another one. I had, I, I used to be like a journaling queen, but um, yeah, anyways, I found one, and last night I finally, well, actually I found two of them. One, one of them I haven't read yet, and the one I started reading last night, I haven't finished it yet. But I started looking at this, this diary, and it was back when, um, conveniently, it was back when I was going so hard in the gym. I was telling you guys that I haven't been fighting for like over a decade to get back to where I am right now. Because like, I, back then, like 2010, I was going so hard in the gym, so hard. Oh my God, I was almost to my goal. And for like the last decade, it's been a little bit more than a decade, I've been trying so hard to get back on track with my eating and going to the gym. And it's been up and down, up and down, up and down. Right now, these last, what, year, two years now, this is the most consistent I've ever been since 2010. But anyways, 2010 was when I really started working out really hard, going to the gym, changing my life. I had gotten to be so small, um, just, I was so tiny and like just muscle, so tiny and I was just full of muscle. <laughs> I was full of muscle, but no more curves. Like my boobs had got flat, my butt was gone, everything. But I, I didn't know um, how to maintain my curves at that time. Like now I know how, but back then I didn't know how. So um, I had lost everything. But anyways, 
in my mind, I've been chasing that girl again, like chasing that consistency, chasing um, the way she was eating, chasing um, how she was so close to her goal, you know? But I wanted to get back to her so bad, so bad. And I'm sitting here and in this diary, I was writing down what I was eating, what time I was eating, the workouts I was doing and everything. I can never remember the workouts I was doing back then, but like I wrote them down in here, but I don't really know what they are. Some of them I do, some, some of them I don't recognize. I, I was hardcore back then. But what shocked me and scared me and disgusted me was how I was eating. I don't know how we're surviving. I was so, like, I thought, like, in my mind I have right now, from what I can remember, I'm thinking I was just eating healthy and eating clean. Baby, I was barely eating. I was barely, let me see if I can find an entry. Look at, look how I was, girl, I was going in. I had all my little fitness things on here. I was going in. Let me see. Like, the first thing I noticed is, like, I was just eating shakes. Shakes. That was it. And fruit. I was really into fruit for some reason, and I don't know why. So let me see, this day, this is May 21st, 2010. And I said I woke up starving, needed to get something healthy in me um, ASAP. The temptation to get a breakfast sandwich, a bagel, or something carb is strong in me. Trying to resist a protein shake is a must and some fruit. <laughs> Let me be patient. Because I was hungry because the previous day, all I had pretty much eaten was fruit and protein shakes. For this day, I woke up at 8 o'clock, had a banana and a protein shake. Okay, that's good. Then I had a Slim Fast shake and some wheat thins and half an avocado. So 8 o'clock and then 9.30. And then at 11.40, I had a mango. At 2.15, I had five strawberries. At 3 o'clock, I had another Slim Fast shake. They're not, they're not even protein shakes. These are Slim Fast shakes. So breakfast was a, um, a protein shake. And then I had just Slim Fast Shakes. I think they had protein in them, but I don't think it's as much. Yeah. And then for dinner at 7 o'clock, I binged on some Afghani food. I don't know what kind of food that was. And then some spoons of pasta. And I threw up. And that was it. And then at the bottom here, I have all the workouts that I had did that day, and it is crazy. Arm curls, bicep curls, sit-ups, stomach twists, stomach pull-ups, overhead lifts, um, leg slush, stomach punch twists. Oh, that's like that Russian thing. I don't know what, butterfly lifts, crunches, squats, lunges, stomach twists with arm weights, and then pull-ups. I was literally beating myself to the ground. And then what I was doing too, I was going to the gym every single day and dance practice. But I wasn't eating. And I, I was reading through this. So this is the next day. I had oatmeal with raisins, three-fourth cup of oatmeal with raisins, two veggie sausages. Then I had a fruit parfait. And then for lunch, I had one serving of Doritos with some veggie pasta, a piece of fruit, and two pieces of chicken. And then I had some grapes and strawberries. That's all I had the whole day. The entire day. And then, like, as I'm reading this, I'm talking about how I'm trying to get over my eating disorder. Because you guys know I have an eating disorder where I just like to eat a lot of junk food, a lot of um, chocolate and stuff like that. And so... I'm writing down that I'm hungry and I want to I want to eat the junk food. And the reason why I want to eat the junk food and... I want to binge so much is because I'm depriving myself. I'm restricting myself. And it goes on and on. And not only that, but I'm working out so hard. I'm working out so hard to the point where I'm not eating enough to sustain my body at that point. Next day, protein shake and banana. That was breakfast. Lunch, grapes, strawberries, orange. Dinner, a giant salad with salsa and veggie meat. Oh God, then I'm doing hit cardio, bicep curls, jumping jacks, arm curls, bent arm lift. I don't know what that is. Hula hooping, bicycling, behind neck arm lift, squats. 
protein shake, banana, coffee, grapes, strawberries, a whole mango, celery stock, and half a tomato, an orange, raisins and cherries. I don't know why I was so obsessed with fruit during this time. If anything, the vegetables, but why so much fruit? Then I had a scrap of banana bread, and then I had a protein shake and fruit. That's what I ate the whole entire day. So just a whole bunch of fruit and a protein shake and some celery stock. And now I'm crying about how hungry I am and how disappointed I'm stuff that I, I want to eat. I don't know. I just had this relationship with food all my life that's been so chaotic. So chaotic. And I don't want to be hurt anymore where she's so restrictive. And then we're wrong back there. I didn't have education about how much I should be. I was just starting my journey. And um, I'm hoping as I go through this, I'll have been eating more food. But it was just so heartbreaking to see how hard I was being on myself and how I wasn't eating. And I still felt mad at myself for what I was eating because I felt like I was eating too much food. At some point, I think I ate like a Subway sandwich and I was mad at myself because I ate a Subway sandwich. And then at one point, I had went out with my sister and my mom to go to Burger King and I didn't want to eat, but I ended up eating and I was just chewing myself up about it. But I'm like, I wasn't eating food. And so how could I have this healthy balance, this healthy relationship? Because I was restricting myself. And then it got to a point where it was so bad, I ended up binging. And I'm like, do I want to reach goals again? Yes. I would love to reach my goal. I'm, I'm still fighting for my goal. And I am happy with where, I at, where I'm at right now. And of course, I'm, I'm planning on getting smaller because I'm still on my journey and I'm not stopping. But I don't ever want to get to a point where I'm like this again. I never want to get to a point where I'm this and then. And I'm like, I still deal with these thoughts. I still feel bad when I eat something that I shouldn't be eating. Like the other day, I broke my fast and had sugar. And I enjoyed myself. I had a good time. I got right back on track with my fast. I haven't had sugar since. But I'm like, You have to have balance. You have to have balance. The majority of your diet should be you eating good, but you should still be able to have those things. And I'm like, I'm still hurt. Like, I'm still battling with these thoughts. Even right now, I'm on the sugar. I, I want to call it the sugar fast, but I'm restricting myself. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Just what I'm trying to say is I don't want to be this version of Melissa. I don't want to be the restrictive watching everything I eat, being crazy um, strict or berating myself when I eat something I shouldn't be eating. I want to be able to enjoy my life and still be on this journey and still be happy with the results I'm seeing and still working hard. I eat now. I know better now. I know my body needs to fuel. Your body needs carbs. Your body needs protein. Your body needs sugar. You know, it needs different things to fuel it. I want to keep reading this because I'm praying it's going to get better. But like... I know now that what I'm doing is the healthier route when it comes to trying to achieve that goal. Because you guys can see, like, it didn't last. I, I, I put the weight back on because I was being so crazy restrictive. So right now, I'm still on that path to get to back to where she was. But I'm doing it in a healthier way, a more sustainable way. Ah, Leah just broke my heart to see this. But I'm also happy, too, because I'm like... I was getting mad at myself. I'm like, why am I not back there yet? You know, I've been doing this for a while, but, like, I've been conquering battles. I've been, like, trying to get over this eating disorder. I've been trying to develop healthy relationship with food. I've been trying to change my mindset when it comes to me and my life in general and battling this depression and anxiety. Like, I'm changing all of me. I'm not just changing my physical appearance. Because that's what I did back then. I just changed the physical. I didn't work on the mental. I didn't know. So, I'm getting there. Is it a slower time frame? Yes, but it'll be worth it if it's not, if it's not like this, you know? <sighs> yeah, okay. That's all I got to say for right now. I'm going to go clean the bathroom up because... I want to get it clean, so, <laughs> and I want to put my new rug in there, so, yeah, that's what's going on right now, guys, so I thought I would share that with you guys, if I see anything else in here that I feel like I want to share, I'll let you guys know, all right, bye. <laughs>
Whispered to feel wanted Gave too much to people that left me disregarded Used to be easier to give than to take Used to think everyone would treat me the same But now, I'm calling back my energy From every single thing that wasn't meant for me Earlier, um, this is such a bad angle Earlier I took some of my Greek yogurt and I put like a serving size in here. I think, I think it's a little bit less than a serving size. That's my dishwasher I just started. Um, but I put some of this sugar-free banana pudding. Put about three teaspoons, if that. I don't, even, I don't even think it was that much. I put some of that in here. And since mine is plain, I put a little bit of honey in there because it's not, it's not sweet. I have to plain yogurt. But if you have vanilla yogurt, it'll work better. But yeah, I have that. I'm gonna take about one and a half of these crackers and crumble it in there. And this is going to be my dessert tonight. I am so tired. I cleaned the bathroom. Then I swept and mopped the kitchen and the dining room. I am just... And it's just after going to the gym. After walking to and from the gym. After going for a walk. I don't know why I did so much. Because my back, you guys know my back is... And it's still hurting. So I'm going to eat this. Relax for a minute. And then do my physical therapy. My at-home exercises. And I'm going to chill for the rest of the night tomorrow i have to um go over my speech make sure everything is finalized i need to edit this vlog and i need to make sure i have the outfits that i want the models to wear picked out for this for my speech so i cannot wait for this to be over i am never signing up for an event like this again I just don't need the stress. Not right now. Maybe maybe in the future. But right now, <laughs> no. No. All right. So that's my treat. I'm going to go eat. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's Tuesday. And it's raining really bad. But we're still going to the gym. So <laughs> thank God for the raincoat. Oh, you too, thank you. Y'all, yeah. let me tell you, it is pouring. Like cats and dogs outside. My poor backpack is soaked. I'm so grateful for this rainy jacket. I hate carrying umbrellas when like um, it's storming because you guys know I have a fear of storms like when the lightning starts flashing. Mm -mm. I don't want no umbrella in my hand. I did, um, what was today? I did arms and back today. I'll be going out of town. So speaking of which, I never asked you guys to donate, but if you want to donate to the channel, you know, come on this trip. I'm going to put my cash app right here. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So right now I'm about to eat something real quick and then I have to go edit this vlog because I need to get this, this vlog started because like the rest of the week is going to be really just focused on getting everything done before I leave town. So um, I'm going to edit this vlog and hopefully get this up by tomorrow. I've been waiting for this brand. Oh my God, lightning. Lightning. Oh my God, lightning. Calm. Breathe. We're going to breathe. Anyways, I'm going to go eat something real quick. Edit this vlog. I have to call the airline because I, I need to figure out um, my baggage allowance because I think I can do a carry on. No, an under the seat bag and a check bag, I think it said. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta confirm. I'm online, but I'm not sure. I haven't flew and like, I haven't been flewed out. <laughs> oh my god, the lightning thunder. I got home just in time. But I haven't flew in like over. Five years. I think it's been like eight, nine years, something like that. It's been a long time since I got on the plane, so I need to find out. But I gotta do that. And then it was one more thing I had to do. And I really need to remember. And I can't. It was three things I had to do today. Oh my god. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, let me get to work. This might be the end of this week's vlog. I will be, of course, vlogging the rest of the week and, of course, out of town, all that good stuff. So that'll be the next vlog, but. Hopefully I have enough content in this video to give you guys a good juicy vlog. I love you guys so freaking much. So freaking much. And I will catch you guys next week. I gotta go do my hair and everything. I gotta do my nails. Oh my, there's no time. There is no time. Breathe. We
you start getting really anxious and overwhelmed, just take a second and just in through the nose, out through the mouth. But, but. And that feels good. That feels really good. All right. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Bye, Belle.